Let's consider this Boolean identity here, f equals a and 0. Now straight away you should be able to see that in fact that will minimize to a 0. The reason being that this a and 0 can be represented by a 2 input AND gate. And we can see that one of the inputs is actually fixed to a 0. And that's sufficient to tell us that the output from the AND gate would be 0. Because the only condition where the output is a 1 is when both of the inputs are a 1. And obviously that is impossible here. If one of the inputs is A and the other one is fixed at 0, then obviously we haven't any possibility of two ones at the input. Let's use the symbol of an AND gate to prove this. What we're really saying is that one of the inputs is an A. Now that's a variable which means it's capable of being a 0 or a 1. Whereas the other input, as represented by A and 0, in fact is A0. And straight away we can see there is one input that's a 0. Consequently, the output here at F will also be a 0. This is the truth table for a two input AND gate. We'll use this to prove that A and 0 in fact minimizes to a 0. We're really concerned with these two combinations here. This one where both A and B are a 0 and this one where A is a 1 and B is a 0. In other words we're only interested in the conditions where B is a 0. Now straight away we can see for this condition the output f is a 0 and for this condition here the other possible one the output f is a 0. Consequently we should be able to say with confidence that a and 0 minimizes to 0. Let's have a look at the conditions again by coming here and realizing that we can have this as an a and this one will be fixed as a 0. This input is an A, and this one can be fixed as a 0. Consequently, one of the conditions we can have is when A is a 0. And if I come over here, we can have the other condition when A is a 1. Now this is a 2 input AND gate. And when both of its inputs are a 0, we should know by now that the output will be A0. For this one over here we can see we have a 1 and a 0 at the input and we should know that that also will give us a 0 at the output. Consequently we can say that f equals a and 0 which minimizes to 0.